Give him a list. Uh, we got the Washington football team with Alex Smith now as the quarterback versus the Detroit Lions. Um, interesting game. I'm going to stay away from Alex Smith here. Uh, he, look, he's just not. He's an efficient quarterback. He's not going to put up a lot of points. I don't think. Um, Antonio Gibson, I think, will will have some value. Uh, McLaurin, I still like him a lot more now than I did with Dwayne Haskins at quarterback. Uh, you to, you overrode my decision last week to bench him. You said start him. So credit to you. You were definitely right on that last week. What was that the that Giants. you started? McLaurin. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I like Logan Thomas with Alex Smith, the quarterback. Don't have a great projection, but I think he'll have a nice game as kind of like a safety valve there. For Detroit, um, Matt Stafford, assuming he doesn't spend the week in isolation again. I think you start him against Washington. Uh, I like Swift. I like um, – actually, I don't really love anybody else. Do you know what uh, Galladay's status is with the hip? I didn't I, – I, I tend to think he's going to be out again, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. When I when he initially got hurt, I heard a few weeks he was probably yeah, – so, so I would expect he missed at least one more game. Yeah, so to me, that means Galladay. I don't like the – I would have expected Marvin Jones to get more targets with him out. Um, I think we can confirm that he's not going to get there. The targets tend to be going to to Amendola and um, and Hawkinson, so I'd say start Hawkinson. But anyway, take it away, David. Yeah, I mean, I think Amendola is the clear one who's a value guy, especially in like DFS. I think he was thirty seven hundred. I had him in one lineup, but unfortunately, like I said before, I tanked that lineup with with Dobbins and yeah. Mark Andrews. But you know, it, Marvin Jones, if he can't get it done, three for forty three in a touchdown with Galladay out against Minnesota, who's been cake. I got no issue with you dropping Marvin Jones. He's basically yeah. he's one step away from the AJ Greens, T.Y. Hiltons of the world. He's he's less than a step. He's like a half a step away. I so agree. I agree. There's just not really upside in keeping him, and there's just so much to lose putting him in your lineup and getting those duds. No problem dropping Marvin Jones for. Like I mean, a even if he gets a, even if he gets a touchdown, it's three catches, twenty five yards, and a touchdown. I mean, it's like you can get give me give me a receiver, get some yards and some more receptions. Then, jeez. Yeah. Marvin Jones is pretty much done. So I'd rather stash a high upside backup, like I said, Tony Pollard, maybe if he's still available. Yeah. Um, even other guys, Benny Snell, I'd rather roster than Marvin Jones at this point, just based on the upside. Yeah. DeAndre Swift, they're starting to give him the ball more. Thirteen carries to Peterson's eight. So that's good news. He's his floor is extremely reliable i believe he's hit double digits in all but what two games this year deandre swift you get you just keep continue starting him no matter what i feel like at this point um the other side of the ball who, what's the other team we're talking about sorry washington I, washington sorry lost track there um alex smith man it's not good it's not good news that yeah. he's the quarterback he's taken over it's good news for jd mckissick that's about it he had 14 targets in Nine receptions for 65 yards. We talked about the, this the first time. Alex Smith checked down King took yeah. over. This makes J.D. McKissick not just like a low-end flex, but That's like a, a legit RB2. Good note. Legit RB2. And J.D. McKissick right now, he he has, I believe, six-plus receptions in four straight games. Um, I got to pull that up. But this past week, he outsnapped Antonio Gibson 45-25. to 25. I don't know what's going on it's there. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. 45, 45 to 25? J.D. McKissick is an RB2 right now in PPR leagues. I, I, I Until just, further notice. We've talked about this. I don't get it. Antonio Gibson's better. Put him on the field. It's not like he can't catch everybody for crying out loud. Give those targets to Antonio Gibson. Goodness let him gracious. It's, it's, go it's to the moon. poor coaching. Personnel, poor coaching, poor personnel decisions. Anyway, uh, let me hit you with the line here. We got Washington plus three and a half versus Detroit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Detroit against. I just don't think Alex Smith is ready to be out there right now. Yeah, I, look, I don't like Detroit's defense, but I don't think Washington's offense is good enough to really take advantage of that. And Detroit's offense is is good enough to take advantage of some of the things that Washington's given out. I'll take Detroit to cover there, even though I don't like that. I don't like three and a half lines. I'd rather it be three, but. Um, I think Detroit covers. Next game, this is a great one. 